And that is our top story tonight at 5. Good evening. More lacrosse area families are in need of food this holiday season. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen joins us now in our newsroom with how the community can step up to help. In recent months, that Wafer Food Pantry director Aaron Waldhart tells me that average demand has gone from about 20 to 25 families a day to 30. But this need isn't just because of the holidays. The holiday season is a time to gather. That whole thing of family and togetherness and the activities that happen over the holiday season. And, you know, if you don't have enough discretionary income, how do you participate in those like you might want to? And need for food is up for a few reasons. Good, thank you. The programs are decreasing or ending, and also with the increase in groceries and the effect that that is having on people. Food donations also rise during the holidays, thanks to rotary lights. But those donations can't keep up with demand. What we've noticed is that people that hadn't, haven't utilized our service in the last year and a half to two years are now starting to come back. Food pantries and banks always need more. The folks who are struggling are having even a harder time at Christmas time. They're looking at, you know, can I afford food uh, with the higher prices? Uh, do I get Christmas gifts for the kids? At Hunger Task Force, which serves the area pantries, Executive Director Shelley Fortner says there's need every day. You know, hunger is all year round. It's so important that the community supports programs like ours. Donations and volunteers are always welcome. If you'd like to donate or are in need of food assistance, you can check both Wafer and the Hunger Task Force's websites for up-to-date information. We'll have links to those for you on our website, news8000.com. Mike, back to you. Thanks a lot, Emily.